Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, art, graphic design, you guys know the drill. Follow me on Instagram, check out my Patreon, check out how to donate to my channel below. Okay, let's get into it. Ooh, that was quick, but okay. Today's video, I'm excited because we're doing something kind of different. I wanted to look over my website. So I don't know if you've checked out my website, you might have, but it's always linked below. And my website is where I host my portfolio. So it has all of my design work, me as a designer, about me, how to contact me, it just has a lot on there and um, there's some stuff that I don't want on there anymore that's for sure and there's some stuff that I need to revamp and change and update like I don't have recent work in my portfolio it's kind of a mess right now to be honest so that's why I'm so happy that this video today is sponsored by Hotjar so I wanted to use Hotjar like in today's video I've actually been really interested in them and I'm just loving like that I can do all this cool different analytic stuff than what I normally do so what it does is it shows you heat maps on your website you can look at where people are seeing things where people are clicking on things you can see how the behavior of people on your website and how they navigate your stuff so here's the thing I want to change my website that's the main thing <laughs> um I want to change it hopefully uh, this year I mean there's just so much that goes into website changing and I just get really like overwhelmed with it but hopefully this will bring me insight into what I actually need to change on top of the things I do want to change. So I'm going to talk about that. We're going to look at my analytics. We're going to look at what's going on because I want this to be helpful for you guys too. I want to see how people are navigating my portfolio and what would be the best way to redo it. And then hopefully this will give you guys some ideas of how to set up your website. So guys, here is Hotjar. So I have my site and it's tracking my site and it's tracking the main page of my site and how people are gonna navigate it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to look at our heat map that it has generated for our homepage of our website. Okay, so here is paolacasa.com, like the main homepage, and it's showing me through the heat maps like what people are actually clicking on. This is actually really exciting to me. So it shows me like what people are hovering over, what people are clicking on, and the percentage of people that are doing that. So. This is like so crazy. I mean, it's giving me like super insight to everything. So right here, as you can see, it's like really hot on the button to go click on my work. I feel like that's the main reason people are going on my website. Like nothing's really super hot except for the top about and work. And people are also hovering over like clicking on graphic designer and YouTube creator, which is not really a button. So <laughs> that's just like describing who I am. And then there's links over here. So. I think that's kind of confusing for people for sure they're like hovering over seeing like if graphic designer is going to take you anywhere but it's not it's not going to take you anywhere on the website and the thing about my home page on my website is that there's not much to scroll through there's not much to look at and like i think that's kind of damaging to my site like i mean maybe yeah it is a for a platform but i think i want people to go and click into my work and click on to contact me so i think i need to make it a bit clearer like hi i'm a freelancer hire me i'm available that type of thing, you know what I mean? So let's look at the heat map for my work, which is all of my portfolio laid out. Okay, so as you can see here, oh, it's gonna be like laid out kind of weird looking, but okay, people are clicking, people are clicking sporadically and it's getting a little less and less as we scroll down through the page, which makes a ton of sense because why are people gonna scroll all the way down when the pictures are like taking up the entire page like you don't know how much more there is to look at no one is even clicking on the first design i have at the top no one so <laughs> that's kind of weird you know like i mean they're scrolling past it so maybe it's just like not catching their eye maybe i need something better but here's the thing with my portfolio i'm not feeling this layout anymore i don't think i want just scrolling down through and having it take up the entire page there's nothing wrong with that because uh, I feel like other websites have done that that I've loved, but I just don't feel like it's working for my work anymore. I think I want to lay everything out so you can see it all on one page and maybe that'll make it a little more like eye capturing for people so they'll actually want to click into the work. So another thing that Hotjar does that I love is that it does recordings. So it actually shows users using your website and how they navigate through it. So this is all anonymous. It's just collecting data. It's not collecting anything about the person who's on my site. I'm gonna click on a few of these, look through them and like sense some patterns, like figure out what's going on here and like 
see what I really need to change. Okay, so I've been looking through and here are some examples of how people are navigating my site. So this is a recording and I'm actually watching it in two times speed just so we can get through it. But see, first they clicked on my about, so that would be a great way to get more clients. I should probably put more about me, maybe like a link to contact me in my about page because it just has a little bit about me. Um, and then we can just scroll through, like scrub through here and just see what people are doing. So then they clicked into my work and they just are scrolling through my designs. I feel like logo design is the popular thing to click on for sure. And a pattern I did notice in clicking through my portfolio is that when they click into one of these designs, they have to click back to work. Like they have to click back to the main portfolio page, which I don't think is a very good navigation like tactic, I think it's a little complicated. So as you can see on this recording, someone was using their phone to look at my website. So it actually shows how my website's looking on mobile, which is great for me. Like this is the type of stuff I love, like seriously. But like I said, when you go through my work, it's just like taking up so much that it would just be so much better if it was laid out like picture, 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 picture. So I think that's really what I need to be doing for sure. This is just so fun to see what people are doing on my page, like on my website. The fact that a lot of people were going, like I didn't think there'd be any recordings, but there's hundreds. So the fact that people are looking at my website makes me happy and scared because I know <laughs> that there's so much that needs to be fixed on here and so much that needs to be updated. I have new project, I have new client work, like I have done way more. So yeah i need to update this and that's that's what i'm gonna do so i just love that hotjar has these heat maps and these recordings like i just think it's so much fun to look at my analytics on my site and actually get like real user experience analytics instead of just numbers and who clicked on my page like i stopped looking at that for my site i only really look at my youtube analytics lately because my site has just been so like blah and I just really feel the need to revamp it. So now we're looking like at my website and as you can see, like these aren't buttons on my homepage, but people are still trying to click on them. So I, I need to get rid of that completely. Like I don't think I want any of my homepage to look like this anymore. I think it just needs to be laid out a little more clear, like about me, I'm a freelancer, here's my portfolio, here's my work. So as you can see, I also have a blog and I haven't posted in years. I haven't posted for a while. I mean, I started out blogging and then that's why I tried to continue it because that's how I started out like my online life. But no, I'm just gonna get rid of it entirely because I don't think people are interested at all. So if you look at those hot jar recordings, you will see that people are literally just clicking on my about and then my work. Like no one's clicking on blog, it's stupid. <laughs> and barely any people are clicking on contact, which should be a big pull on my website. Yes, I know that a lot of people are coming from just like YouTube viewers. So I know that maybe they're not contacting me to make a logo, like they're probably designers themselves. I just need more access to the contact page and just like push it out a little bit more because I just want to show who I am as a designer and then also like have ways to get in touch. <laughs> I still do like how this is laid out and I love how we can just like navigate pictures um, but I think people might have been getting confused. I could tell in the recordings like they were confused that the photos were popping up as I they scrolled and I think that just threw people off. So I think I'm gonna get rid of like scrolling features which who would have thought, you know what I mean? Scrolling features can work on a lot of websites. So if you want to use those on your site, like I wouldn't say that they're a bad thing, especially if the photos are smaller, if there's more to see like popping up at, like at different times. Um, scrolling features can totally work, but I think for my site, just because I'm doing such big scale photos, I think people were just getting confused. So if you're wanting to make a website portfolio, I would definitely suggest just having it be really easy for people to navigate around. I mean, these are great tips that I just figured out myself, like having a back to portfolio button or something like that at the top. And just also like laying out your work in a more readable way. No one cared about the first project. Like I need to just updated also but no one was really clicking like farther down the farther down you went it was just like kind of random so the website revamp hopefully coming soon i mean i just need to work up the energy for it honestly but this has really helped me and kind of like sparked things again i was getting so bored with my website honestly and it actually freaks me out that that many people were looking at it because i just can't even handle it anymore like I just haven't been liking it in a while. But you know, designers, we're never satisfied, we're never happy. <laughs> but let me take you through some like inspirational websites maybe that will like help you 
if you're wanting to lay out your portfolio on a site, I feel like mine can offer some inspiration and maybe those tips can help you, but also like let's look at some inspo. So Geraldson Chua's website was a huge inspiration to me when I made my site and obviously you can kind of see that inspiration, I mean different colors and like pushed out to the edges of the page. I think the way he's laid out his work is so exciting and it just makes me so happy. I mean, he's just like a really good professional designer. I mean, he was like worked for Away, he worked for Condé Nast Traveler, so obviously he's a great designer, but like the way he laid out his work is just chef's kiss. So this is a design studio website that I found on like an inspiration site to show me. I'm going to link those below. Um, but this one is like a great example of laying out your work in a huge page. I think that this like is, I mean, obviously super colorful, but that's the style of their work, but it just has so much character to it because you can see everything. And then it's like, Oh, what do you want to click in? What do you want to see next? And I like these little like hover over things. And I think that that would get people to click. The next site is Super Creative Co. I really like her work. I follow her on Instagram and stuff. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen her work, like I'm linking that below too. Um, Super Creative Co. Her site is laid out so nicely, in my opinion, in terms of like just showing your work. Like as soon as you go to her website, it shows you like her shop and then it shows you where you can go to see her portfolio. And then it's just about contact. So it's really like user friendly and it shows her work in such a nice light because it's just like these perfect squares of work that you can just click into and actually see what she's up to. I think in these sites you can definitely see like the different artist styles and design styles that you're going to be seeing in their work and I think that comes across and I feel like on my site it's just not coming across so that's something we need to fix but yeah these are kind of like my inspiration things right now because they just show so much personality and then on top of that so much like user friendliness in terms of navigation which i'm so glad hot jar helped me figure out so i'm so glad that we did this together i also wanted to do it for me just to have like recording also of what i'm gonna change on my site and hold myself accountable and hopefully you guys can hold me accountable but yeah i really want to continue on with this like fixing my site thing so i feel like this is kind of like the first in maybe a series mm? So I'm so happy that Hotjar sponsored this video and hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully this will help you in any way creating your sites. So everything will be linked below, more resources, more inspiration, and hopefully this kind of like intrigued you if you're wanting to start a website or maybe change yours. And also uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed and <laughs> ring the bell to get notified and please give this video a like if you enjoyed parts of this video or if it was helpful for you because it really helps my channel. Okay, let me know what you guys want to see in more future website designing videos and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye! There are people from all over the world looking at my website and I just realized that means there are people all over the world watching this video right now and that freaks me out. Let me know where you're from in the comments. <laughs>